Hello, this is John from Vector Zero, and today we're going to be taking a look at using the sign editor in Roadrunner. To get started, I'm going to create a freeway truss from which to hang the sign that we're creating. I'm going to go down to my props, and go to freeway trusses, and select a post to hang this on, and a truss. Great. Now I'm going to press add sign, click on that sign and hit F to focus on it, and switch over to the sign tool. I'll bring this up so we have some room to work with, and I'm going to click on the sign. Now this sign that I'm going to be creating is about 7 meters wide and 3 meters tall. Great. Down here we have the 2D sign editor. And to get started, I'm going to create a horizontal split and drag that down slightly. And I'm going to mark it to not draw the separator. We'll just use this to logically split the two halves between the turns and exit only and the top names of the freeway. Up here, I'm going to then use a vertical split and move this over slightly. Next, I'm going to click in this region and press Add Text. This first section, I'm just going to use the same font here. You can add extra effects and change the font style and size, but actually I think I'm going to leave the size as is. I'm going to set the text to East and drag that over slightly. You can use the corners and edges of this to resize the text on the sign. I'm now going to go over to my signs folder into the symbols and drag in an interstate symbol. I'm going to set the width and height of this. Actually, it's already at one meter. Perfect. Let me position east a little bit better here. With this selected, I'm now going to add some text and set this to the 595, which is the example that I'm creating here. Finally, I'm going to add a little bit more text. And in this case, this is Annapolis. In this region here, I'm going to add some text. And in this case, add another interstate symbol. I'm going to uncheck preserve aspect ratio and increase the width slightly and add some text. In this case is the 197 and change its color here. To finish off this sign, I'm going to add the arrows and the exit only down here at the bottom. So to start off with, I'll drag in this arrow and that's way too big so I'm going to shrink this down by using the edges here. And position that. I'm going to add a rectangle now. Oops. Drag this and select a yellow color for the exit only. You can also increase the corner radius slightly. Shrink this down. And add a second one. If you notice, it, keep, it kept the same properties that we had before. And I'll drag in a right turn here. And I'll finish this off with the exit. Great. To add an additional sign, click again on the truss and add another sign. In this case now, this sign will be significantly smaller. This will now just be 2.5, sorry, 2.5 meters wide and 0.7 meters tall. 
and its text be exit 11. I'm going to set this to white. For this sign in particular, I'm going to hit rounded corners now. And I'm going to go back to the prop and position it on top of the other sign. That's the basics of the sign editor in Roadrunner. Thank you for watching.